Hey everybody, how's it going? Out in the garage, look at that, doing a little rearranging. I uh, moved my sandblaster over, which gave me a chance to put in my, uh, my shutoff valve. So this is all tied in and it's shut off because on these cheap harbor freights, they like blowing the hoses off them. Yeah, the hose keeps blowing off them because they're crap. So I finally got that in. It's been sitting up here for I don't know how long. I slid it over. I took my oil can that was there and I put it over next to the car. Let me see it right there. Because that's where I'd be doing oil changes. If it's in the way, I'll just wheel it around the corner. Um, the two jack stands that there are now over here. So I moved these out of the way. Kind of hid them behind all these millions of straps that I got. This table I pulled out, and I put my press here in the corner now. So, that's where this new home is. And I got plenty of room, and I had a piece of uh, styrofoam. I figured I'd shove it behind it. Just in case I drop something, you know, it'll just bounce back to me. Shove this thing over here in the corner. And, uh, yeah. Because once I cut through something... I mean, I'm not going to cut through something that's, that's that long. You know what I mean? I <clears throat> I usually just cut little stuff. But, I mean, if something gets bigger, I can just wheel it out. So I made a lot of room. Um, probably way too much room for the uh, big sander that, that I should be getting. What the hell are these freaking bees all of a sudden? Freaking things. Pulled the things out. Well, I thought that was a caterpillar. It's just dirt. Yeah, I moved my airline over a little bit. You can see where the airline used to come straight down. I had to jog it over. So I gained some room here. And so I got plenty of room now. So that's going to go out my camper. My shamper, shed camper. These heavy pieces of crap are going to go out my camper. Because they're nothing but in my way. And one of these fell on me before. And it ripped the crotch right out of my pants. That was close. I almost lost my ding dong. But. Well, I guess married more than 30 years. You don't need it anymore. But. Yeah. So that's what. Uh, that's what I've been doing today. Just moving stuff around. I mean. This freaking press weighs like a million and a half tons. So I took everything off of it. And I just did the. The little slidey deal. So it took quite a bit of time to get it back here. And I got it leveled up pretty decent. I mean, it ain't really going to go anywhere. I had to level this up quite a bit. That's how much my floor is off. Because, you know, it's just a tarp and a DGB stone underneath this. The tarp and the carpet. So, yep. I can probably park my buggy for now in there. My welding thing. Or back here for whatever, you know. Because I haven't even used this press yet. So I might as well leave it out of the corner. You know, or leave it in the corner. Where the hell did this come from? Oh, this is for this. Um, yeah. So when I get around to using it some year, then I'll have it. I haven't even used this yet either. My little arbor press. But, you know, who knows? I might just leave this here just for the hell of it. For little baby stuff and put the monster over there so well that's what i've been doing today all i got left that i'm going to accomplish is take these out to the camper and throw them in and that so there's four trips because they're heavy and then uh take that piece of crap wobbly ass table out there too this is old and it's a little wobbly but I mean, this was a wicked nice looking table, you know, 100 years ago. What's this thing? Oh, I thought it was a little SD card. I don't even know what it is. Something stuck on it. Don't care. So that's it. Um, talked to the guy on that humongous sander. He said Sunday. So looks like Sunday I'm taking a road trip. And hopefully he's got tools. Get my level off of there since now I got it leveled. 
You wonder how level this came out, just throwing it back here. Eh, not too bad. Good enough. I don't care. So, that's it. That's all that's going on here today. You know? I was going to put the oil can there. I was just going to put it here, but this seems to be working out good for wood scrap storage. Slice my foot open on the corner because I walked through here and my foot slid off the edge and I got these screws right in the side of my foot. So my foot's bleeding inside my sneaker right now and it feels terrific, but I'm not a girl. I just keep moving on. Um, I put my King Song 18L up on Craigslist and eBay. Um, I don't know. You know something? I really like it. I, I love the damn thing. But, you know, I can't handle another crash. So, I guess it's time to wisen up and just have fun in the garage. So, I guess that's what I'm going to do. Uh, be a sad day to see it go, but... It'll be a good day with the money in my pocket. I started bidding out at 1200 I paid 1700 for it. But, where's Junior? Minnie, where's Puppy? I hate it when I come out here and I can't find him. Junior! <laughs> what are you doing over there? Eating grass? Huh? So he got in trouble today. Yep, Junior got in trouble. He got this, he did a boo-boo today. So he got a, a little smack on his butt. I think it hurt me more than him. Didn't you? You did poopies in the house today, didn't you? Yeah. Minnie's usually the tattletale. Minnie always tells on him. Yeah, you're the tattletale of the family, aren't you? you little shit. Chihuahua twins. He's Oreo. He's a, a peanut butter cup. Look at it. He looks like Grover from the Muppets. Noodles. Noodles, look up here. She looks like a freaking Muppet, doesn't she? You a Muppet? Alright, everybody. I gotta drag these heavy pieces of crap out to the shed. And then uh, that table, which ain't gonna be bad at all. The only part that sucks is when I go back there, I gotta duck underneath the catwalk. I don't know why I hooked it into the bottom window. I should have hooked it into the top of the window so I could walk through and, you know, clear my head. I what I should have did. I should have put it up in the top window. Damn it. Oh, well. You know, you look back and say, oops. Alrighty. Um, oh, yeah, my roof is all sealed. No more water coming in. While I was at it, I jumped on my house roof and I... Just double checked and recocked a few other things. So, I got this I want to put on my roof this year. This is a power vent right here. This thing is amazing. You would not believe the amount. Of, I plugged it in on a table, I almost shit my pants. The amount of air coming out of this is about much air coming out of this. It's, it's unbelievable. I didn't expect that much air pulling out, you know. But, I wanted to have like a regular uh, roofer come over and do it. You know, I could do it, but I'd rather have like a roofer come and do it. And this way I know it was done, installed right. And I just have to run a power line to it. But So, yeah, because it gets wicked hot in the house in the summertime because of that dark green roof. I should have thought of that, you know, when I was ordering the place. I should have said, yeah, yeah, give me a white roof or something. You know, metal roof is what I should have did. A really light colored metal roof. But, shit happens. So anyways, there we go. Making room. And uh, I'm going to have to probably run a couple more outlets somewhere. I'll find a breaker that I don't have much on it. And then I'll go from there. Because I'm sure I'm pretty much over overloaded on this box. Well, I mean, not really. Because there may look like there's a ton of shit plugged in. But... I mean, this looks like a nightmare, but 
when I use something, I'm only using one thing at a time. It's like my cart. I got four big honking plugs in there, but I only use one piece of equipment at a time. So, yeah, I mean, I can see if if all of this crap was on and running at one time, yeah, that'd be definitely overloaded. This is a heavy wire. This is a 12-2 wire, so I can take the juice, but, you know, I got to get on that panel box one of these days. But, wow, I even ripped my sneaker. I ripped my sneaker out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's bleeding. Nice. I'm going to go inside and get a Band-Aid. I should have had socks on, but if I'm out in the garage, I just slip these on like slippers and run around. Okay, everybody. Got more light in here now. I moved all my crap up. I might move that face up a little bit higher. But that's it for me today on Thursday. Oh, Thursday is garbage day. I get to go clean all the kitty litter boxes. All seven of them. Including this one. Which is right here. That's how big my cat litter boxes are. These are concrete mixing tubs. These things are huge. They're like two foot by three foot. So, yeah. I took a garbage bag with me when I clean them all out. All right, I'm done yapping. Let me know what you think about the uh, my new opening and closing credit type deals. And, uh, you know, that red car, I would love to build that red car. I think it's just awesome. So, all right, take care. Have a good one. You going to say goodbye? You going to say bye? Huh? There you go. Good girl. Thank you.